goes for it. They're all set to race. And uh, away they go. Got them away to a very nice start. Slick Deputy Brainstorm Honey Bun towards the outside is looking for that early lead. Catch a thief. Wallacey in behind those. Brainstorm's only four lengths off the leader. Live action. Ikimasu is further back in the field. Then comes Mayan Destiny and Semi Pearl is the trailer. There's only seven and a half lengths covering first to last through the 1200. They go. And Cloud Cooker Land's past them all now to go up and search for the lead. So it's Cloud Cooker Land setting the gallop up there and leads it by two and a half from Wallacey in second. Honey Bun relaxed back in third under Latham. Races only three and a half, four lengths off the leader. Then Brainstorm in behind that one. Brainstorm is followed along the inside by Slick Deputy. Racing behind that is Ikimasu and then comes Catch a Thief. Further back to live action, eight lengths off the leader, Semi Pearl and Mayan Destinies, the trailer. Coming down the elbow now, and they've got just a little more than 600 to go. And Cloud Cuckoo Land is the leader by two and a half lens from Brainstorm. Then Honey Bun down the inside. Further back to Eki Masu is making a forward move now. Slick Deputy in behind that live action catch a thief. And on the outside, Semi Pearl. 400 to go. It's Cloud Cuckoo Land by two. Eki Masu looks a big threat down the center. Brainstorm is also there down the inside. Then catch a thief. Honey Bun is in all sorts of difficulty. Live action runs on, but it's Iki Masu with 150 left to go. Catch a thief is running on behind that, then brainstorm. But Iki Masu has got a good advantage going into the last 50, and Iki Masu will win it comfortably. Iki Masu wins it. Second, catch a thief. Third, brainstorm. Live action, Mayan Destiny. Then came in behind that one, Slick Deputy. Honey Bun, very disappointing. Cloud Cuckoo Land, Semi Pearl, and Wallacey. Back for the result of race four, the first leg of the pick six this afternoon at Turfentain. Uh, lovely ride by Robbie Fred there. A uh, nice result and nice result and start to the pick six here this afternoon. It was the helm construction maiden plate for fillies and mares over 1,600 meters. Robbie, well done. Uh, after that first race, she flew up on that first race and now she had the extra ground. She came out fairly well today and uh, finished nicely and stayed on strongly at the end. Yeah, correct. And, um, you know, she, she was always going to improve this filly. Um, you know, we were always worried about uh, Michael's filly in the race. You know, she had a, a first first up. It was a great run from her as well. So we were a little bit concerned about that. And, um, yeah, but, you know, this filly's improved so much since the first start. And, um, you know, like you said, you know, um, Japanese bred filly, you know, she can only get better. Exactly, from that draw in her first race, which is really poor, especially at this track. Uh, slightly better draw this afternoon, but she stayed on very nicely. Well done. That's correct. And, um, you know, cracking run first time out. And, um, you know, I remember on the day there was no false rails, so I had to kind of, uh, um, you know, wiggle my way through through runners and um, pull out. And, um, you know, she got left, uh, you know, towards the last 100, 150, you know, for a turn of foot. So today was nice. Nice run race, nice pace. You know, had a good position on her. And uh, she hit the front end. Yeah, she was loafing a little bit at the end, but... Big thank you to Gary and Dean in the stable and, uh, you know, Priven and uh, the whole syndicate and all the guys that own this filly. You know, they can have a lot of fun with her and um, she isn't going to stop here. Yeah, exciting, horse, exciting horse to follow. Uh, anything uh, later in the card for you, Robbie? Well, I think it was, I've got one for Charlie Laird, uh, Normaz, and um, I think he'll run a big race over the 1450. Um, I've got some other chances coming up and, um, and let's just hope for a good day, you know. So. Thank you very much. You. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Gary, well done, Gary. Uh, what an exciting filly you have in your hands here. The extra distance this afternoon really worked nicely for you. She came out better and she ran on very well. Yeah, well, it's always, it's always nice when a filly shows promise like she did in her first start and then they come out and they reproduce it second time up and uh, heads off to Robbie. I mean, he rode a good race from that draw. And uh, we always worried about the Dakar course and uh, he had the draw and he, I mean, he had the lead of the race. So, you know, the way she came through them, it was a good win for this filly and uh, thanks to Pravin and Hilton and, of course, Samuel Stud. Let's hope she can go further from here. Yeah, it's a nicely bred filly. 340,000 buy from Summerhill Stud. Well done to you guys. Have you got anything further later in the day, Gary? No, I've only had the two runners today, so... Well, that's all you needed. Well, that's it, eh? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Thank Al. you, Gary. Gentlemen, Pravin and Hilton. Well then, gentlemen, what an exciting filly here. She ran on so strongly in that debut run of hers. I'm sure this is a, just a cherry on the top for you. Correct, it is. I picked her out at the gallops last year, sat at the auction and bid it. I was nearly outbid it, stood my ground. That's a filly I wanted to got utmost faith in her. Yes. Yeah, what a wonderful filly. And from that first race, from that draw on this track, you must have been really excited how she flew on that day, how she flew so late in the day and the last 200 meters. Yeah, she was. Well, she just, she's a natural filly, and I think we're going to see great things to come with her still. Eh? Do you think she can go further? 
Hundred percent. I think uh, 1800, definitely 2000 meters. We just had Mick Goss on the phone now. He also was saying that uh, she's definitely going to go further in time to come. Eh? So some classic races ahead for you guys. Was it exciting for you today? Yeah, absolutely. And just once again, thanks to Hilton for getting me into the filly. And well done to the Alexanders, Gary Dean and the team. And of course, Robbie, great ride. And I guess the only real trepidation was that I had to shout home the blue and white in this race. When the color today is really black and white. Yeah, very true. Well done. Congratulations, gentlemen. Well done. Wrapping that up for you, what a nice result to this first leg of the pick six. The disappointment, of course, Mike de Coxhorse, who went backwards on the, at the end there. The result for you, 7-2-1-3 on this windy but beautiful day here at Turfentine.